Hello everyone, it's me, Tori from Burn Up Gadgets. Today we are going to disassemble this Asus X540L laptop. Well, actually this disassemble also applies to all of the X540 models. So I'm going to show you how to properly do it. If you haven't taken laptops apart before, it's a good idea to write everything down. I mean, where the screws are, where does they go, where the plugs goes, and such things like that. For this job, you only need a Phillips head screwdriver and a small plastic tool, such as a guitar pick or a credit card that will help you to open the cover. We start on the back of the laptop. There are 10 screws to deal with. Now to open up the cover I found the easiest way to do it is to push the lid back and you can get your plastic tool under here to slide it along. Now take your time, you need to work carefully with this. You need to work around all of the edges and you need to unclip it, unclip it everywhere. When you finished unclipping, don't take the cover off yet, because you need to unplug the keyboard and the touchpad first. These clips are very fragile, so be very careful. Here is the way they hold the ribbon cables.
Now let's remove the hard drive. It is held by one screw. After you unscrew that, you just slide it to the right and lift it up. The DVD drive is also held by one screw. It's time to deal with the motherboard. First we can unplug the cooling fan and the speaker. Notice that if you do this for the first time it is going to be a bit of a struggle. On the motherboard there are 8 screws to deal with. And one screw holds the Wi-Fi control. You have to remove the Wi-Fi control before you can remove the cooling fan and the motherboard. Normally I would say that remove the battery before you start disassembling, but in this case the battery is built in, so we can't do that. Try to be very gentle with the PCB, hold it by the edges, don't actually touch the circuit board. And of course, remove the SD card as well. Just don't rush it, give it some wiggle and try to be patient. These PCBs are very fragile. The display cable is held by a tape on the motherboard. It's a bit tricky to remove it, but I think you can manage it. Here you can see the memory. If you want, you can upgrade it because it's actually removable. And here we can see the processor and the heatsink as well. I'm not gonna remove the heatsink because I don't want to reapply the thermal paste, so maybe in another video.
Anyway, just follow the steps to put it all back together.